Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. Today's unboxing is from Rachel at Pet Peds and Pods, and I'll put a link here and also down in the description that you can check out. If you haven't seen the interview that we did a while ago, you should check that out. I'll put a link up here you can refer to. And uh, we talked about all kinds of things relating to isopods and millipedes and expos and, and that kind of stuff. So it was, it was a pretty good time. And we uh, talked about some things during that uh, during that time that are now coming to fruition. So I'm pretty excited about this. Here is the caution sheet and the permits. I've, I've recently switched mine to be something more like this as well, just make it more efficient. Oh, this looks like the Phase 22 pack, the ambient pack. It helps when it's too hot and when it's too cold. It's a solid when it uh, is on the cool side and it gets warm. And when it gets warm, it becomes a liquid and vice versa. And that helps uh, maintain the temperature. So useful thing to have. Good thing to use at this time of year, especially when it's not too hot and not too cold. So really excited about this. Oh, here's the Pet Peds and Pods card there. Very active on in Instagram. Um, posts a lot of cool pictures and videos of the isopods and millipedes and things. So definitely make sure to check this out if you have not done so. All right. I don't know if you saw what's going on or not, but Armadillidium maculatum yellow zebra. I've been excited about these for years. I really love how yellow and black look on an isopod or yellow and dark gray or whatever colors. Love it. I love my uh, Porcelio ornatus yellow. I love, you know, anything uh, Armadillidium gestroy. And now I've got yellow zebras. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's get these into their habitat. Oh, just look at those. That is so cool. It's been a long time that I've been looking forward to these. I guess I just said that, but I, I'm pretty excited about this. Perhaps you can uh, forgive me for a little enthusiasm there. And as I am unboxing this, just look at that. Look at that beauty. That is so fantastic. That one's got pretty good stripes too. A lot of the yellow zebras that I've seen, the stripes are not as well defined as this one. And you can see a little bit of tendency towards spotting, but it's not bad at all. It's a really nice one. It's a nice mature one too. I mean, it could get a little bigger, but this is definitely past reproductive size, meaning it's at prime reproductive age right now. So it probably won't be long. Oops, sorry, I'm losing focus a little bit. Let's see if I can adjust that. Probably won't be long at all before these are breeding. Maybe a matter of weeks, if I'm lucky, before I start seeing tiny little juveniles in here. I would love that. There we go. And as I am doing this, I want to thank our patrons at Patreon. You know, you helped me get these uh, yellow zebras so I can get them breeding and have a nice thriving colony of them. And uh, that was something that I couldn't do without help. It, it makes everything, really, that I do on this channel uh, a lot more feasible just because of the support I get on Patreon. So I really appreciate it. Uh, it takes as little as a dollar a month. And if that's something that you can spare to help keep this channel going, help me be able to deliver new and interesting content, helps you with your isopods and other aquarium and vivarium pets, just uh, check out the link that I'll put in the description and at the end of the video. All right, I think I've only put one in so far. Is that right? I'm going to check out... I'm kind of digging through the moss here, just carefully. Oh, there's one. A smaller one. I'm having a hard time focusing on that. Oh, there's two attached to this piece of... Sphagnum right there. I'm 
Very cool. I'll let them crawl off onto the egg crate, egg carton, and then I'll move the moss. I don't want to soak the uh, egg carton. Gets too wet, it can get moldy and stuff like that. So I'll move that. There's a little one right there. I don't think I missed anything on that piece of moss. There's a couple right there. You know, when I first got my first zebras, I think I got them in July. It was either June or July, and it was November before I saw babies. But that was a long time ago. I think I've learned a few things about isopods since. And I'm hoping to see babies a little sooner than that. Um, some of these are a little on the young side and won't be reproducing for a little while. But uh, some of them are, are close to reproductive size. And that one that I showed at the beginning, definitely already reproductive size. I didn't bother to check if that was a male or female, but I see that in here there are some others that, you know, have some growing to do, but that one could be reproductive already. It's, it's very likely that, that one is already of reproductive age, and I think that's the case for some more of the ones in here too, definitely. That little one on the carrot right there, old enough to be reproducing as well. Oh, that yellow against the carrot, that's kind of fun. The yellow and the orange. Put the carrot down here so that they can go after that. Another one that's probably reproductive size and another one that has a little bit of growth to do. But they're looking good. That yellow color. Unmistakable. Look at that. So cool. And there's a couple more in there. Just they're so small that sometimes focusing on them. See, that one has some really pretty good striping on it. That one's a little bit more on the spotty side. But that doesn't matter. They're yellow. So cool. I don't know quite what it is about yellow and isopods. Maybe it's because they match my Aquarimax logo of the the yellow Leucomelis dart frog, I don't know, but I just love ice pods with the yellow on them. Okay, this one is kind of hiding in the moss there a little bit. Hard to see. There it is. If I can focus on it. Cool. Well, as I let this last one go, I just want to say thanks for watching. Please feel free to share, rate, comment. And remember that I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays. And I hope to see you next time. Please click subscribe. And then tap notifications all so you don't miss my next video.